I'm Anne. I'm 16 and I live in British Columbia, Canada. I think the biggest mistake people make about kids who enter science fairs is that we are top of the class, straight A students. I am not the genius nerd some people expect me to be. I think the only difference is that we're always questioning how things work. I've always enjoyed science because science is, well, everything. This is no more obvious to me than with insects. I love them. Ever since I was a kid, I've been interested in how they are so small but so complicated. You could say, it's what first got me interested in science. I believe, to be truly environmentally conscious, you must be willing to think of ways to create change. My mom is from the Philippines. A friend there told me how she had failed at school because her family could not afford electricity. Without it, there was no light for her to study and her grade suffered. I really wanted to do something about it, but she needed an energy source that wasn't dependent on money. I found out that humans are a great source of untapped energy. So figured it would be amazing to make a flashlight that runs on the heat of the human hand alone. I discovered that the palm radiates more than enough milliwatts per centimeter squared of heat to create a bright light from an LED. I used Peltier towels to utilize this heat flow. The towels are a thermoelectric device, which means that when one side is heated and one side cooled, electricity is generated. I encased the Peltier tiles within a hollow tube so that the hand heats one side and ambient air flows through and cools the other. It was so amazing when the flashlight finally lit. I've learned that we shouldn't be scared by how crazy our ideas seem. Harvesting human heat? I thought that only happened in the movies. There's still 1.4 billion people in the world without electricity. Now that my flashlight is a reality, I'm hoping my crazy idea can be part of the solution.